Hi, Aptera fans. It's been a busy last three months for Aptera as we've been progressing our development efforts on our betas. Our betas are crucial in our ramp to production and they really serve to integrate production parts into our first development vehicles. We'll progress that through Gamma and Delta and hopefully have a production vehicle ready by the end of the year. One of the biggest changes in the Beta Series vehicles are the size. We've made it bigger, but we've also lowered the drag to make it more efficient. So there's no net increase in drag from the Alpha Series vehicles. We've increased the headroom, we've increased the side space near the hip, so it's gonna feel more roomy inside and bigger and not have uh, increased drag. Through our alpha testing, we identified some opportunities to increase headroom and increase our battery packaging area. This caused us to increase our frontal area of the vehicle by about 1%, but through aerodynamic optimization, we were actually able to lower the total drag product of the vehicle. We made it bigger because we wanted to accommodate a larger percentile of, of folks. We wanted uh, really tall folks and big folks to be able to fit comfortably inside the headroom and in the headroom near the door. During our track testing with the alphas, we learned that we have a lot of opportunities to optimize our stability, our turning radius, and our maneuverability. We turned to Roush's engineering team to help us develop automotive quality components for our production efforts towards the end of this year. Some of the changes in the suspension are things that we learned from the extensive testing of the track. We wanted to implement all of the improvements uh, that we learned that we, we needed from Alpha into the beta series. And Roush is helping us engineer that new suspension. They're making it even more stable and more manufacturable than it was before, helping us source OEM parts and etc. so that we can get to production that much quicker. Roush is a leader in performance engineering, and they've really helped to streamline our suspension and production parts as we move forward. They're well known for their racing heritage and the amazing things they've done in high volume automotive. We're also working hard to optimize our body structure for ease of assembly and lightweightness. Roush has helped us with our door systems, which are typically a very difficult part of engineering for vehicle longevity. And we've seen some amazing enhancements in how the door functions, the window mechanisms, and how the door hinges. Next, let's talk about the drivetrain. We've been working with the LaFe to improve the efficiency of their motors to make them more suited or dialed in for Aptera's use case. One of the improvements is even in the cable routing, and that allows us to use smaller cables and package them underneath in the aero covers uh, that we don't have on the Alpha vehicles, but that you will see on the Beta. This is important because we have both all wheel and front wheel drive systems, and they both need to work equally as well in every situation. The motors are also important aerodynamically for the Aptera. The way the cables are routed into the vehicle and how they attach to the suspension has aerodynamic impacts. Both the lower and upper A-arms need to be optimized to minimize drag throughout the vehicle. Hess Mechatronics has been helping us optimize our battery systems to make sure that we can produce them in volume and so that they're the most energy dense package we can provide. One of the biggest changes in our battery design that will first be seen in the beta vehicles is our flex circuit BMS system. The flex circuit attaches to the cells in such a way that it allows them to be made up to 10 times faster than typical EV battery packs. So that means it lowers our manufacturing costs and we'll be able to make battery packs for the vehicle much, much quicker than any of competitive technology out there. Our alpha testing also showed us a lot about the ergonomics of the Aptera. We noticed that we needed to change the driver position a bit, as well as the steering wheel position and increase headroom a bit to make the vehicle overall more comfortable. All of these beta improvements that we've been working on for the past year, things like suspension and increased headroom, better battery technology, more efficient motors, bring us one step closer to production. The vehicle design process here at Aptera has four main phases, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. The alpha vehicles that you've seen, such as the one behind me, have provided all the useful information for us that they're going to. And for months, we've been working to incorporate that in the beta design. We've improved ergonomics in the beta vehicles from a human factors standpoint. Uh, everything from how you sit in it, how it feels, where your hands fall, the seat adjustment fore and aft and headroom, all of those things have been radically improved from alpha to beta. As we finish the engineering on our beta development vehicles, we can't wait to start building them through the summer and share our progress with you. Stay tuned for updates.